Searching for a secret tree to set up your trading? Interested in one of a kind indicator that could change how you trade? Hey traders, I'm excited to share a special indicator that I made myself. And the best part, it's all yours, totally free. So get ready and let's embark on the exciting adventure. Let's get going. I'm here to introduce you to an indicator called STDMB Trade Genius. Once added to your chart, it'll transform the way you view your trades. You can use this indicator on any chart or time frame, but I recommend the 5 and 15 minute time frame. Right now, I'm using it on the 5 minute throne chart. But before we start trading with this indicator, let's tweak some settings for optimal performance. So in the Inputs tab, set the Haikanashi Bidder Smoothing option to Kaufman. Then make sure the source is set to Close. Then change the period to 45. The order should be adjusted to 1. And the filter option should be set to Gaussian. Next, change the filter deviation to 3. And the filter period to 15. Now, let's move on to the market bias settings. Change the period to 200. Leave the smoothing at 100. And disable the Show HA Candles option. The color should be set to green and red. Lastly, leave the start settings at their default. Now you're all set to start trading with the STDMB Trade Genius Indicator. In this indicator, I've created a feature that not only provides buy and sell signals for entering trades, but also accurately identifies market trends with ease. Here's how it works. If the indicator band is green, the market trend is on the rise. But hold on, even in this upward trend, there are times when the market is ranging or in a corrective wave. I've marked these market conditions with a dark green color on the indicator band, so you should avoid entering trades in these areas. Similarly, if the indicator band is red, the market trend is downward. And just like the upward trend, there are times in the downward trend when the market is ranging or in a corrective wave. I've marked these market conditions with a dark red color on the indicator band. Therefore, you should avoid entering trades in these areas. Alright, if you want to enter a trade using this strategy, we have two simple conditions. For instance, for a buy trade, we first need to ensure that the price is above the green band of the indicator. The color of the indicator should not be dark green. Once these conditions are met, all we need to do is wait for the indicator to issue a long signal. If these two incredible simple conditions are met, you can enter a long trade. Next, to determine the stop loss for this trade, you have two options. You can either use the recent swing or the green band. Depending on the market conditions, you can choose which one is more suitable for you.
Finally, the most reliable method for exiting the trade is to use a risk reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. Okay, now let's talk about entering a short trade with this strategy. We have a couple of straightforward criteria. For a short trade, the first thing we need to check is that the price is below the red band of the indicator. The indicator should not be showing a dark red color. Once this is confirmed, we just need to patiently wait for the indicator to give a short signal. So if these two simple criteria are satisfied, you're good to go for a short trade. And when it comes to setting a stop loss for the trade, you've got two choices. You can either base it on the recent swing or use the red band. You can make a decision based on what the market conditions are telling you. As for exiting a trade, tried and true method is to use the risk reward ratio of 1 to 1 and a half. Now, if you're interested in getting this indicator for free, all you need to do is follow the link I've provided below this video and join the Telegram channel Trade Genius. Once there, you can download the text file for the indicator. If you're looking for other indicators and strategies, feel free to join the Telegram channel as well. Next, open the text file you've downloaded, select all the content and copy it. Then head over to the Pine Editor section on the TradingView website. And delete all the existing content in this section and paste the content you've copied. And there you have it. You now have the indicator on your chart forever, completely free of charge. But if you are interested in trading with another one of the strategies I've created, you definitely need to check out this video.